to another video today is quite exciting one because we are packing for my soul trip i'm actually leaving tomorrow my flight is at 8 40 and i'm flying directly to seoul so oh, i still can't believe the time is finally here i booked this trip like five months ago and it's it's here it's a reality now so we gonna do some packing and also yes my brows are a bit crazy they are really dark because i got them done yesterday but it is what it is i also got my nails done so we finally changed the shape to almond and i went just with the basic uh nude color and also got my lashes tinted so very lovely and yeah let's go packing so i did myself a list uh was in my phone so i have literally a few categories like electronics um clothes shoes and then toiletries and everything any other thing that i need to have so i'm just gonna now whack everything on uh on a bed and then i will pack it so this is a suitcase i'm taking it's not the biggest one oops but it will do and then i will have my backpack as a carry-on but i'm most likely gonna buy another small carry-on in korea on the way home but we'll see okay first part done so this is the clothes everything i'm taking shorts under the dresses jeans pajamas and rope because i just love rope uh two blazers this one's our tops for going out normal tops plus i've two more which i'm taking in my hand luggage just in case uh this is my hiking outfit my bags my bras i'm still gonna add knickers there's my socks so yeah okay and i think that is kind of it i still need to do more electronics but i'm charging it my straightener have my lotion my body wash sunscreen all that stuff all my medications all the bits and bobs so yeah i think i'm kind of packed and as you can see this is all my clothes nicely fit in in the half and here i will have my shoes and toiletries and other stuff and the shoes i'm taking so i'm taking these vans this is gonna be like when i'm going like out kind of partying because i have the pop curl um booked and also am i gonna go a few times out in the night so i don't want to get ruined my everyday trainers uh obviously my hot cars because they are super light and that will be great for the hike and also i'm taking a pair of heels just in case um these ones are the new ones that i got in matalan i think it was like 16 18 pounds something like that so in case i go somewhere fancy that i have a pair of heels and you are maybe wondering why I'm taking masks. Uh, well, I spoke to my friend who lives in Seoul and he said that the pollen from China that's coming in this season is sometimes very annoying and gets your throat really dry and it's it can be a bit difficult to breathe. So he was like, you know, just in case, take a mask or if not, I have some spare ones, so I'll give you what uh some so that's the only reason why i'm taking it because as i'm aware you don't need to wear masks anymore anywhere in korea i know about like a month ago you still need to wear it on a tube or subway as they call it but not anymore so this is more just like just in case you never know right good morning today's the d day oh, i'm still not fully packed i just need to do last checks and just do my like charges and stuff but yeah today we are flying to korea i say we it's only me but you know we we are flying to korea uh as i said my flight is at 8 40 pm so now is oh my watch is dead i think it's like 10 30 something like that so i'm gonna go out get myself for breakfast of course it's holiday so we can get breakfast out and get nice coffee 
and then I will finish packing and we'll have a shower, shave my legs, wash my hair, do all that and yeah, that's the plan so far. Outfit, very simple, all black joggers. I have my compression socks in the bag and I think it should be all good. Have a hoodie as well, have my jacket. It's fucking roasting, so I'm gonna be sweaty as fuck by the time I get to the airport, but it is what it is. <laughs> Absolutely naked. I didn't film anything when I was um, when I was going <laughs> through the airport and to Seoul Station and then taking taxi and it was raining and I think I slept like two hours so I'm now basically up for like twenty six hours I think or something like that. It's ridiculous. So I literally just gonna eat, gonna shower and have a drink as well because I feel like I need drink so I went to convenience store so I'm gonna show you what I got first I got my favorite milkies can't wait to drink these all the time then I got um, soju this one is zero sugar and um, apparently it's very trending this one with the fox with nine tails so I'm gonna try that one um, then I got the lemon tonic. I don't even know if that's a beer or what the heck is that. I just liked the packaging. I was like, oh, it can be good with soju. God knows. And then I got this uh, cream cheese milk roll cake because I'm craving something sweet. And for food, I got this. Uh, I believe that's a bibimbap flavor. God fucking knows. I just seen that. I was like, yeah, I fancy that. So we will see. And then I always watching these meat meats on a stick because you get inconvenience so you just heat it up in microwave. So this one's garlic flavor. Again, no idea how they're gonna taste. So. It's my first meal in Korea. And as I said before, I'm actually gonna eat that, shower and go to bed because it's like, I don't know, 9 p.m. My watch still didn't change, so I think it's 9 p.m. So yeah, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up. If you're new here, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video, which will be more fun because that will be the first couple of days in Seoul. Bye. <laughs>